Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nathan from Tattooing101.com and today I want to talk about uh, beginner-friendly tattoos. So one of the mistakes that I see a lot of new artists make is they, they take on tattoos, you know, really not designed for beginners. There are some tattoos that have absolutely no margin of error, while there are others that are, I would call easy tattoos that have lots of margin for error. And even if you haven't been tattooing that long, it's still, you know, quite easy to make them look, you know, decent. So when you are planning your next tattoo, here's a few things you want to keep in mind, right? Make sure that the tattoo's small. Tattoos like this are really easy to cover if you make a mistake, whereas tattoos like this, you know, big, you know, massive half sleeves, if, if that gets messed up, then it's really, really difficult to, to cover, especially if you've, you know, had a little bit of training and you get your lines in really deep and, and it doesn't fade when it heals, then, you know, um, sometimes the only option might be laser or, you know, you'll have to go to a really expensive tattoo artist that's got, you know, 10 years experience to get it uh, covered up. My second tip is uh, tattooing legs. Now, everyone kind of want, like wants to start doing sleeves straight away, but the reality is that, you know, legs, the skin's better. You know, the, the, the legs carry less, especially on men, legs carry way less body fat than any, any other part of the body and the, the muscles are way bigger, which means the skin's tighter. So calves, thighs, uh, it's a lot easier to get the stretch right. And it's also a lot easier to position the client to work on. So imagine, for example, if you're tattooing the side of a neck, it, it's pretty awkward and, you know, uncomfortable for, for both people to, to get the tattoo done. Whereas on a leg, you know, if you're doing a calf, you just have them lie on their stomach and you can pretty easily get a good position and come in from multiple angles. So it makes it a lot easier to tattoo. Also, legs are easier to hide. So if you mess up a tattoo on someone's legs, you know, they can just wear long pants and it's not that big of a deal. Whereas if you tattoo someone's face or their neck or their hands, you know, that's visible for everyone to see and that's what your name attached to it. And it can really hurt your career if everyone's just like, oh, you know, who did that tattoo? It looks terrible. Just like, oh, you know, so-and-so from wherever. The next uh, piece of advice I would have would be to avoid cover-ups. Now, cover-ups are definitely not for beginners, right? Uh, they're meant for, you know, seasoned professionals that have been tattooing for years and I, I highly recommend just avoiding them straight out because, you know, the, the reason that they've got a bad tattoo in the first place is because they were tattooed by someone that didn't know what they were doing the first time. So tattoos that are messed up twice are much harder to fix than tattoos that are messed up once. My fourth piece of advice would be to stay away from symmetrical designs, especially when they're big. Mandalas and stuff look really cool, but when you put them on an unsymmetrical part of the body, which is most of the body, like, you know, thighs, calves, forearms and stuff, it's really tricky to make, to get them right, unless they're super small. But still, you know, if you mess up, like even one line on a symmetrical, you know, tattoo design, then it shows, it, it just stands out a lot more. And yeah, it makes the whole tattoo look crooked. And then it's just, yeah, there's very minimal margin for error in a symmetrical tattoo design, especially like mandalas and stuff like that. And fine line tattoos as well. Wouldn't recommend mandalas or fine line tattoos for beginners at all. My next piece of advice would be to make sure you're tattooing people that have good skin. This means, you know, people that are, are quite young, ideally under 40, once you sort of get over 40, the skin uh, kind of gets worse and worse and worse. And then also, you know, if, if you can avoid tattooing people that are extremely overweight. So when someone is, is really overweight, they'll, usually they'll have stretch marks, which is kind of like speed bumps in the skin. So as soon as you run a liner over a, a stretch mark, it can catch really easily. And if you, you know, you're you not super experienced, it's really easy to mess up your lines. And also if, if they're super overweight, then it's really difficult to stretch the skin, get a solid stretch and put in a solid line. And on top of that, generally people that are, you know, super, super overweight have other health issues and, you know, their, their tattoos cannot heal as well just because of those other underlying health issues. And it can make a tattoo that, yeah, it, it doesn't help you during the healing process, put it that way. My next uh, piece of advice will be make sure that you tattoo designs that are forgiving. Now, I said I touched on this a bit before, some designs uh, have a high margin of error or a large amount of room for error, whilst other tattoos have zero room for error. So a couple of examples would be mandalas, you know, very little room for error. You mess up one line that stands out like a sore thumb, you know, fine line tattoos, script, things like that. You mess up one line in that, then it's gone. Same with realism. If you do a funny looking eye or a nose or something like that, anything realistic is, is super difficult and not for, especially like if you've only done a couple of tattoos on skin, I would, I'd recommend staying away from realism. Stick to, if you want to practice realism, that's you do it on practice skin, that's fine. But uh, it's definitely, it's really easy to mess up. Now, some good examples of, of tattoos that have lots of margin for error. So skulls are great. You know, if you mess up a line in a skull, you can turn it to like a crack or a bump in the skull. And uh, it's, they're, they're really easy to fix because you know, you can put shading in them in so many different ways. You can hide a lot of mistakes. The next one would be roses or flowers. Pretty much the petals can be any shape in a rose or a flower. So if you have like a crooked line or something like that, you can 
almost always save it and you know turn it into a decent looking tattoo my next recommendation would be tribal i know you know it's not super popular and it's boring to draw but because you're filling it all in black you can really practice your line work on it and if, if you mess up and you can't kind of just making sure that you go in towards the design so then that way when you black it out then you know it's going to be full then yeah it's it's gonna it's gonna hide a lot of a lot of mistakes that way as well so tribal's great uh, also kanji's uh, are really good you know you can pretty much blast out a kanji with a round shader it kind of has like that painted effect and it still looks really good or you know if you just want to line them you can do that too but they're nice simple tattoos that when you when you black them out uh, it hides a lot of you know either blowouts or you know uh, lines that you can get in solid so i hope that helps you guys in terms of you know picking beginner friendly tattoos that are easier to nail i've also i've drawn some some flash for you guys if you want a couple of you know beginner tattoos to sort of work with i've drawn a couple for you swipe across there'll be like an image that you can just download uh, off this facebook post and um yeah see how you go i'd love to see if you post them in the group that'd be cool yeah they're really they're really basic just like skulls like an all-seeing eye and stuff lots of room for error so hope that helps you guys if you have any questions about you know uh, beginner tattoo designs or there's something that you know someone wants you to do that you're not sure about and you know you want some guidance on it just pop them in the group and you know we're all here to help each other out so take it easy guys and i'll talk to you in the next video